Hello? Um, so yeah, I, I guess a lot of you have probably heard that later this year, Osprey will be putting out a new game set in the world of Frostgrave called Ghost Archipelago, which kind of takes the action away from the frozen city and moves it somewhere way out in an ocean where a mysterious chain of islands reappears every few centuries. Um, I guess how it came to be was as I continue to tinker with Frostgrave, I'm always looking for ways to kind of change the game and give, give players new experiences and, and keep it fresh for me as well. And one of the ways that me and, and Phil, my editor, talked about doing that was, was moving the setting away from the frozen city. And at first I wasn't so keen on that because I, I can do so much in the frozen city and I wasn't sure if a new, um, a new setting really brought that much to the game. But the more I thought about it, the more I thought, if I change the setting, I can, I can also change the game, the kind of main thrust of the game. So whereas Frostgrave is about wizards, this would be about something else. Um, it still has a lot of magic in it. I'll get to that. But I wanted a new kind of protagonist to, to give people a different kind of gaming experience. But I knew that that needed to be someone that was still potentially a hero, still on a power level kind of above the regulars. And so two things kind of came together. One was that idea, and one was, why would anyone go to a mysterious chain of islands filled with nasty monsters and horrible diseases and giant insects and stuff like that? And of course, you can say, well, they want to go because there's gold there, which is true, but I wanted to give them another motivation. And so from those two ideas was born the idea of heritors. And heritors are called that because they are inheritors of their power. And the story behind it is that 200 years ago, the last time this ghost archipelago appeared, there were a group of adventurers who found this crystal pool, and they all drank from it, and they basically gained kind of superhuman abilities. Over the ensuing 200 years, those people all died off, but they passed on a bit of their power to their children, and to their children, and to their children. And it kind of waters down a little bit over each generation. So now seven, eight, nine generations removed, you still have these people who have these extraordinary abilities, but they have a harder time using them, and using them causes them pain. So these heritors, they can be anybody, but they have powers that they can call upon to fight better, to jump higher, to walk through walls, to hide in the shadows. But every time they do it, they suffer. And at some point, if they suffer too much, it will fail on them. So. The first, one of the first things we did was get the amazing Frostgrave artist, Dimitri, and his wife, Kate, on some of these heritors and to kind of show variety. Because like the wizards in Frostgrave, I wanted you to be able to make any kind of character you wanted for your heritor. So your first one here is kind of your classic pirate, because there's a lot of kind of pirate over themes to the setting. You know, you guys are traveling on boats, you're going to mysterious islands, you know, you're encountering natives. But it doesn't have to be truly pirates. You can, you know, here we have the, the big warrior woman. Um, kind of a much faster, swifter. Because there's basically going to be um, 30 different heritor abilities to choose from, of which you'll get about five to start. So in the same way as kind of wizards in their spells, although they, they work somewhat differently in, in game terms. So if you want a more kind of, yeah, strikes from the shadows, stealthy one, and you can go with that, or even a guy who kind of does Jedi mind tricks and, and tends to manipulate people and things like that. So those will be your main guys, and like I said, they, um, throughout the game, instead of like rolling to cast spells, there will come moments where they can attempt to utilize their heritor abilities. And you will still roll a die. Um, the only problem is that every time you use this ability, you will take damage. And if you fail, you will take even more. And as you use your powers more and more frequently, it gets harder and harder to use them. So you've got to kind of very judiciously choose when to use it and how much to press your luck on using them. So that's, that's one of the main things of the game. However, it is still the world of Frostgrave and it is still a magical place. And I didn't want to remove wizards totally from the game. I just kind of wanted to move them slightly to the background. But every heritor is accompanied by a warden. And wardens are kind of animists. They're people who are very in tune with nature and, and draw their powers of magic from nature. And there's, there's five different types of wardens. The, the earth warden, the wind warden, the beast warden, the vine warden, 
and the wave warden. And I won't go into too much depth on what all these are, but you can probably guess each one draws their powers from a certain aspect of nature. So in this case, you'll, you'll have something much closer to, to Frostgrave wizards with spells. These wizards are not near as powerful. Um, they don't have as many spells. Their spells aren't as powerful. But they are there as a support to your Heritor. So that's kind of your main, you're still going to support them with kind of a war band in the same way a crew in this case, um, formed of all kinds of different specialists. There are some differences between the two. Um, a lot of people have asked, can I play my wizard in the Ghost Archipelago? Um, yes, in the sense that the two games use basically the same core system. So the combat system is the same. How spells are cast is the same. I haven't made any attempt to balance the two. So can a Heritor fight a wizard? Yes. What the outcome of that will be? In point of fact, it's probably impossible to balance it. Balance it. They're using two different systems for what they can do. So it depends on your wizard. It depends on your Heritor.